gonna hold you. Hey there, YouTubers. So I'm going to participate in Kitty Scrapper's tag video. I've been enjoying watching a lot of you finally putting a face to the voice over the process video that I love watching so much. So I decided why not I'm gonna um, do it myself even though it's very embarrassing. Everybody says the same thing. It's really embarrassing to just put your face in front of the camera, but here I am. So I've got my questions here and I'm gonna try and make it this super fast because I don't have a lot of time. It's something that I keep saying. Why did you start your channel, process videos? Um, uh, basically, I was watching a lot of process videos to start with and they always just really inspired me basically and um, I, I I just started one day I didn't think twice about it I opened my channel I started posting a random video here and there and then I got um, I got uh, uh, chosen as a designer for a local shop here in Spain and uh, that actually made me do process videos, more frequent process videos, uh, kind of tutorial videos because we're doing uh, something which is called Layout Mondays and um, basically every Monday I try, I don't post every Monday, I post every couple of Mondays, roughly. But I try to talk about one thing in particular when you're doing a layout. For example, I don't know, the rule of thirds is the very last thing that I was talking about. Um, using uh, your scraps, whatever, you know, there are 16 process videos up to now. But then I also started doing some process videos in English because, uh, as you know, I am from Malta. I live in Spain and I, I kind of mixed everything. <laughs> a little bit of English, a little bit of Spanish. Okay, scrapping style at the moment, how has it changed? I cannot say that I have a style. I don't feel I have a defined style. I see other scrap scrappers out there like Edith or... Um, I don't know, there are a lot of you out there that I, I watch, Ashley Horton and Nicole and yeah, you yourself, Kitty, you know, you all seem to have like a very defined style, whereas in my case, I, I don't feel I have a style which is very defined, yet my scrapbooking has changed a lot and basically because of the kind of the quantity of material that you buy. I don't mean to say that um, the more you buy, the better your pages get, but um, I did start very simply at the beginning and I did use uh, very basic material and obviously you are limited then to what you can do with very basic material. Um, what project have you been meaning to start for a while now? Okay, so I've been married for seven years and I, I have not started my, my wedding album. I bought the material, I bought this collection of papers which is from Fancy Pants and it's a really, really pretty collection and I thought it was very elegant for a wedding album but I haven't started. I have about, I don't know, 500 pictures printed um, but I've never done anything and I keep just putting a lot of stuff in a box. I have a huge box which I just keep filling with stuff for the album but I've never started it. I have no idea when I'm going to start. Then I have another project and I bought another collection for this project and this one is also by F F Fancy Pens, it's called Beloved and as you can see they are both um, quite old um, collections and I wanted to do an, an album for my daughter with her birthdays like try to scrap one picture from each one of her birthdays and uh, she's six now so that means that I've been thinking about this project for six years but I haven't started it yet so one day it will start <laughs> uh, what collection would you save from a burning craft room I don't have a burning craft room I will never have a burning craft room because I don't have a craft room I just have a craft corner in my house but anyway <laughs> I understand this question um, I, I would probably save these two collections that I just showed you because I want to use them and then I have another one which is a secret one some 
girls in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in, they know which one I'm talking about. That I, it's, a, it's something that I both thinking something was going to happen and well, it didn't happen. But anyway, it's there, stashed away, just in case it happens. Like, like a Disney, imagine a Disney collection. I bought a Disney collection as well, thinking that one day I might go to Disney World. So there it is, waiting for me and I'd probably try and save it. Um, but first I'd save my stuff, uh, the, the stuff that I've actually done and finished, rather than papers. Okay, what paper in your stash do you regret buying? Uh, possibly the very first two paper stacks that I bought. Um, one of them was this. I still have loads of pages left. This is extra heavy cardstock. When you fold it, it breaks and I haven't been able to use a lot of it. I think the patterns are a bit difficult to work with. I've tried to use like what I liked, but then some of it has glitter and it's, it's just really hard to use. But I don't know, I bought it online, I bought it from a shop in the UK. It was the first stack that I was buying and I thought it was gonna be useful, but not so much. Then um, I've got this one, the typical mega extra large 180 sheets of paper and this one was from my mind's eye and as you can see it's very vintagey and that is definitely not my style so i bought this stack thinking that i could do a lot with it i have done a lot with it i have used it in many projects but this is what i still have left and i i can assure you that i will not be using it anytime soon so yeah Possibly these two stacks are what I regret buying. Then, what do you want to take? Where do you want to take your channel next year? I have no idea. I mean, I'm open to a lot of things. I'm loving doing the tutorial series for the Spanish shop, and I'm open to everything. I don't think that any big company will call for me. I don't think I'm that good yet. But I do enjoy doing it. I just want to keep on, um, just keep on with my channel. I'm, I'm currently doing a subscriber giveaway. So if you want to check in the previous videos, I'm, I'm doing a giveaway. It's international for, um, you know, reaching the 500 subscribers. I'm now, I think, like 560 subscribers. So that's excellent. Thank you very much. And yeah, I mean, I don't have big plans. I, I I'm just open to anything. And then who would you love to collaborate with on a scrapping YouTube challenge? Uh, <laughs> there are so many lovely ladies out there that I would love to meet personally, to be able to scrapbook with you personally. And I know it's just gonna be so hard for us to do this because I'm in Europe, most of you are in, in, uh, in the States. Although there are a lot of you here in Europe as well. And I, I would like to suggest now if you would ever consider doing a European crop, just select one country and we'll try and meet and just do a massive crop, crop with all the ladies in Europe. Um, so, I don't know. Whoever wants to collaborate for anything, I'm here, I'm available and I'd be so willing to help and participate. And that's it for me. Thank you, Kitty Scrapper, for this really fun tag video. I'm glad I participated, even though it's a bit late. And I look forward to just, you know, um, seeing everybody else's videos. I've tried to see a lot of them. They were a lot of fun. And I'm going to stop talking now and call this a day. Bye. And you're smiling, how my heart aches.